How you guys doing? My name's Kevin, and I live in that van with my two dogs, Barrett and Bella. And we travel this entire country, bringing you footage along the way of the places we see here in the United States. And today, we are in Glacier National Park in Montana. And this is where I slept last night. But first, let's say hello to the dogs since they're saying hello to you. Barrett, you wanna say hello? Thank you, buddy. No, love you too. So, like I said, we're in Glacier National Park. This is day two. And let me show you guys where I slept last night. So I slept here last night. That's right, I don't stay in motels, I don't stay in hotels. I live in this van. I sleep in this van, I eat in this van, I shower in this van, and I go number two in this van. So, today's day two. We're gonna head further into Two Medicines pull-off in Glacier National Park, and then we're gonna visit a couple more locations. The next time I turn this camera on, I'll be further in to Two Medicines than I was yesterday. Well, par for the course. Guess what? I'm at that location I was at yesterday, and they're turning people around because it's too congested. They have too many people inside the park right now on a Wednesday. This national park thing's getting out of hand. I can't even get into a 10-mile pull-off to come visit the sites here at the national parks. So I asked her about what's going on up north. She didn't have any information for me. Of course, she referred me to a website to be able to check what's open and what's not open, but there's no cell service out here, so I can't go to a website. So I guess what we're gonna do is the same thing as yesterday. I'm gonna travel north and see if we can get into a spot, and if not, I don't know what's gonna happen. So stick around, you never know what's gonna happen. All right, so I had some time because I'm not getting into the Glacier National Park until five o'clock. I went to the other location, and guess what? It was blocked too, it was shut down. So I needed an oil change. I came into Browning where I stayed yesterday for the live stream. And this is the only spot that I could find that I asked many people from St. Mary's to East Glacier. They said go to Browning. So I Googled a place in Browning and this is where I went. Lube and Tube Express. So if you guys are traveling through Montana and you can't find a place to get an oil change, come into Browning, make a left at the second street light, look for this business, and they're really nice people. I just talked to the owner and his wife, very nice people, and uh, they would appreciate your guys' business because they are a family-owned business. So if you are in Montana, stop by and say hello and tell them the No Mock Nation sent you. Okay, I'm gonna drive back up this glacier on the east side, and we're gonna try to get into St. Mary's part of the glacier. See you in a second. Wow. All right, we're driving into St. Mary's part of Glacier National Park. This is the part where you have to have a permit between 6 a.m. and 5 p.m. And after that, you can get on in. Right now, it's 5.10, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna drive in right now. I'm gonna adjust this white balance, probably not. And we're gonna find some spots to film for you guys, for you guys to see. So when I turn this camera back on, we're gonna be inside Glacier National Park, the St. Mary's entrance, the east side of Glacier National Park. See you soon.
All right, the first place that I pulled over, it's called Wild Goose Island. I'm gonna flip the camera around here and show you the reason why it's called Wild Goose Island. Because that is where Wild Goose Island is right there. Check out the scenery. This is just gonna be one of the many stops that I have today driving through here. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but we're gonna find out together. Because if there's spots like this all the way through the next 44 miles, we're gonna be in for a long video. Let's go further up this road. All right, so I have no idea where I'm at because this pull off's not named, but right there is Wild Goose Island, right there. And I was just standing right there. But the reason why I chose this spot is because I'm standing on this rock ledge overlooking Wild Goose Island. I'm gonna flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you this scenery that I'm looking at right now. You guys are thoroughly gonna love this. Take a look. I am one lucky guy to be able to experience views like this. I get to travel this country living in a van with my two dogs. I get to spend every single day with my two dogs. I've never been able to do that before. And if I haven't said thank you to you guys, I know I have, but I wanna say it every single day. So thank you guys for making this happen for me. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to see this stuff. We're only 10 miles into this. We've got 30 miles left to go, 35 miles actually. I'm gonna take you through the rest of it. Why don't you come with me? Okay, so I'm standing here at St. Mary's Trailhead, and unfortunately I can't walk down there to see the falls because I got two dogs in the vehicle. And make sure when you guys come to these national parks that you make sure that you're not far from your dogs because you can get a high value ticket that you're not gonna wanna pay. But I'm gonna flip this camera around for you guys and show you St. Mary's Trailhead, the beginning of it anyway. Wish I could go down there and show you guys the falls, but I'm gonna get back in the van and finish the last 25 miles of this trip. Let's go.
All right, so you just saw that waterfall sitting right there. I'm gonna walk further down this park path, flip the camera around for you guys, and show you what I'm seeing right now. Do you guys want to be YouTube stars announcing that you're Prego? Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to walk you into the, what's your name? Megan. Megan? James. Congratulations, first off. Thanks. And I'll give you the YouTube channel name so you can see it. Perfect. All right, so I'm walking up and I'm showing you guys all this and I run into this huge sign and it says that, you know, they're due with blue. I think that's a boy. I'm not sure. Congratulations. I'm going to let these guys introduce themselves, but they're going to have a baby first one. Six. Six. Your sixth baby? Yeah. <laughs> they're the new YouTube stars. Hi, Just, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm James. Megan and James, and they're due 2 2 22. How cool is that? Way up here in the middle of the mountains in Montana, I meet. I can't believe this couple is having their sixth baby. <laughs> I'm going to let them go and finish filming this. Take a look. Take a picture of the van. <laughs> Oh, do you guys live in your van too? No. Uh, no. Oh. We just have to have that big well, we van. We might kill each other. We might kill each other in the van. No. <laughs> I live in my van. Oh, do you? See, this is. You might need this van. Four girls, and this will be our second boy. Jeez, oh, Pete. Wow. They, you guys, I didn't cut the audio off or anything. <laughs> they just told me that they got to check out the van. So you guys know I'm a van dweller. I live in my van for a living, and I bring you guys YouTube videos. Nine passengers. <laughs> Nine passengers. You guys have more babies. You might fill it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Take a look at the van. I think Pete Diddy probably sold him this van because that's a limousine. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. This is uh, this is live television for me, and I don't cut out hardly anything. So you guys just saw it here first. My blessings go out to James, dude. I feel for you, but you're probably happier than any father on the planet. Oh yeah, yeah, we have a lot of fun. All right, very cool meeting that couple along the road here in East Glacier, Montana, six kids. That's gonna be their seventh, or is that gonna be their sixth? I can't remember, but that's a lot of kids. All right, let's get back in the van, travel further up this road, and bring you guys some footage along the way. Let's go.
What is that, Bella? What is that, Bella? What is that, Bella? <laughs> <laughs> you saw it here first on the Nomog experience. Bella and Barrett saw their first ram. So I really wanted to go into Logan Pass Visitor Center, but the parking lot is full. There's even signs that say it's full. So off to the next stop. Let's go. Let me describe van life to you guys. For you guys that are new to the channel, and for some of the subscribers that have seen my content before but don't know the whole story about me and why I decided to move into a van. This is the reason why I decided to move into a van. It's days like today. It's scenery like this. It's me growing up in Ohio and absolutely falling in love with the area during the fall time because it was such a beautiful place to be in the fall. But nine months out of the year, for me, it was just kind of boredom. And I didn't get to see places like what you're seeing in the backstop here on this camera. So I decided to sell everything I own, quit my job, figure out a way to make money traveling and living on the road. And YouTube was it. YouTube, which is you guys, have given me the ability to see stuff like that. To travel this country every single day, deciding where I want to go. Deciding who I want to hang out with. Deciding who I want to be, deep down inside, who I want to be. And I discovered that who I wanted to be was a guy living in a van a nomad, a traveler, a gypsy, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to be that guy driving around that curve in that car. I wanted to be a guy going the other way, finding out what's on the other side of that curve. I wanted to be the guy standing in the shadows, looking for the next sunset, looking for the next sunrise looking for this. So, without you guys, that wouldn't be possible. I seriously would have ran out of money two or three months ago. YouTube is funding my lifestyle. Just your guys' support of commenting on a video, watching the videos, being a part of the live streams. Most of you have done some financial donations and those are the pivotal part of me being able to live this lifestyle to bring you videos like this. This is gonna be an extremely long video, but every single moment of my days, I am in complete gratitude to you guys for allowing me to do this. For allowing me to, I keep pointing to this type of a backstop. Allowing me to do that is the best gift anybody has ever given me on this planet, minus the gift of life from my parents. So thank you, every single one of you guys, for allowing me to do this, to be that guy in that car, to be the guy driving the other way, going around that curve, and I'm gonna take you with me around that curve right now. So let's go. the pain. 